really designed to be experienced, and it's, it's great being out here any time of day. People love the sound even more than the colors. Because, like I say, with the crop circle inspiration, I wanted to go up at night. And I had some people volunteer to help, and the last one left at midnight, and I worked on it until 4 a.m. But it was cool. A few people came up and went, wow, this just sprang up out of nowhere. It wasn't here yesterday. And I'm like, yeah, that was the plan. If I had continued working with the same material, it would have had my signature on it. And if I continued with the same material, it wouldn't open the door. By using paper next year, someone can do it out of cloth, the glass, or, right? This year's temple is dedicated to John and Jane Doe. What's the coolest thing you've seen out there? The chandelier, for sure. The broken chandelier. Not that fun thing was pretty good this year. Yeah. I would have to say it's the Temple of Gravity. You've got these seven-ton stones hanging from chains, and uh, nobody can keep themselves off of them, so they're just sitting there swinging back and forth. And you've got uh, parties on each of each stone, and everybody's trying to see if they can bring the house down, but they can't. It's overbuilt. Oh yeah, do this, this thing. Like, oh yeah, it needs to be computer controlled for this year. Hope I'm like, no, I think there's a lower tech way to do it than that. So until that night when I cranked that fucker up, I didn't know if it was gonna fucking work. I came out here with all my tools and my meters and all this shit. I'm like, I'm gonna be out here all night working on this thing. Got it going, and it fucking worked perfect the very fucking first time. I go, ah! Isn't this exciting, folks? They should put these everywhere. <laughs> what do you think of the theme? Uh, I like it. Kind of lets you run wild with everything. This is a lot of plastic. Uh, this is a little half a body. That's why it's so it's such a uh, an inspiring experience to work with all these people because they would all do it for free. Everyone here would do it for free. There's not one person who's like, yeah, it's just a job. I suck corporate talk. Hi, Lightning. And uh, <laughs> none of them are like that. It's everybody's super inspired by what they do, and I get really inspired by working with these people. So. So I no longer feel like an idiot who spent a lot of money on a bunch of fabric and PVC. <laughs> now I'm an artist. Come back at night. It's nothing to see during the day. Glad to see everybody out here. Riveting! You have one uh, pass.